Hi there, Suzanne Stoddard here again, and this is a follow-up video to my previous one called How to Create a Lead Magnet That Converts. I'll leave the link to that below, okay? So if you haven't checked it out, it might be good for you to look at that one too. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, could you please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I'm continually adding more videos and helpful advice to help you on your online journey. Do you need help with your online business? Have you started one yet? My link below gives you 100% free online training to help get you started or back on the right track. Okay, let's start creating our physical lead magnet. This page is generally called your opt-in page. It's also commonly referred to as your squeeze page and they're the same thing. The most important thing to remember is to keep it simple. And that's because the primary focus of the page is to collect your visitor's email address, right? So the last thing you want to do is distract them with images or videos or other links that could lead them off the page. That's just leaving too much to chance that something could go wrong. So try to be minimalistic with class. <laughs> this is why you need a page builder. I personally use Thrive Architect. This is their page here, and this is an amazing page builder. And it has oodles of different templates. But what I'm going to show you will work with any page builder that you may already have. The two elements you must have on your page is your promise. That's what we talked about in the previous video. And it's really the only content that you need on your page. The other element is your lead generation form. This is the box that collects their name and email address, and you don't need anything more than that for an opt-in page. Now, if you're running paid advertising on Facebook or Google, you'll also need links to your lead pages down at the bottom. Okay, so let's go to one of my website's dashboard so I can show you where to start. So the first thing you need to do is go into Pages, Add New. Now you can type something in here. This is just for your own purposes. It's not going to show on your lead magnet page, okay? So then I have for my plugin, Launch Thrive Architect. And then I want to launch a pre-built landing page. This is what's so great with Thrive Architect. Look at all the templates you get. You get some in this section and you get a whole bunch more in here. And all of these come with all the coordinating pages that would go into it for a funnel. But for today, we're going to pick blank. And you can pick a totally blank page, one that is styled a little bit already, and one that's boxed. I prefer this one myself, so we'll pick that. And there we go. Now, remember when I said that the two main elements are your promise and your lead gen box? Well, we're going to put the promise as the heading. And this is the promise we came up with. Now, I normally like to separate this into two headings, one bigger than the other. So I would go here and add another element. So I will drag a text box under that. And this half of the promise, I'm going to put in here. Okay. Now let's get this looking a little bit better. Let's center that and let's center this one as well. Now this one here is an H1 heading. Okay, I want to make this one oh, probably an H3 so it's small enough. Now if you don't have headings in your page builder, that's okay. Just pick uh, two different size fonts. And I think I'm going to change this font to impact and I'm going to leave this one the same. I also want to change the color on this. Now for a lot of my material I tend to use blue but you can certainly leave it black. Let's do this one as well. And you also want to consider how readable it is. So let's break this one up into two lines and if you find the letters are a little close together I have the option to separate the letters just a little bit to make it look better. And I think I might make this one red, actually. There we go. And take off the bold. And bring this down here. So if you like the look of that, 
Actually, I think I'm going to bring this up here. Okay, so let's leave that for now. And the next thing I want you to put in is your lead generation box, which for me is right here. And I'm going to drag it down and choose a template. Now there's a lot in here in this particular product for templates. I like to choose the simplest one because remember we want to be minimalistic. And it just so happens my button is blue already, but you have the option to change this too if you want. So this is the box where your visitor would put in their name, their email address, and then click on the button to get whatever it is you promised. So let's work with this a little bit more after. We've got our two main elements in here, the headline, which is your promise, and the lead generation box. Now it's always good to have your visitor see the phrase, like the main part of your promise, a few more times. It's kind of subliminal of sorts. So let's add a couple more small text blocks to write something about getting free leads. So I think I'll add one at the top here in small print, but the first thing I want to do is add a little divider. Here it is. And really that's just adding style to our page, yet keeping it minimal. We're going to make it a lighter gray. And I think I want it dotted. Now notice it's a very small dot, so then we can go in and adjust the size. There we go. And now let's add the text. Just above the divider. Now here you can write anything you like, as long as it's kind of catchy and it's small print. And it's something for them to read, even though it's not going to stand out too much. So let's keep it centered. I'll keep it with my blue color. And I think I'll bold just this front part. There, so that's smaller print. Okay, it doesn't really distract from the headline. If you feel it does, then by all means, make the font a little bit smaller. And then let's add another text box down here. And let's add another phrase about getting free leads. So let me put something in here and we'll center it. And I'll make it blue. And there you go. Now I find this all a little crowded. So what you can do is to use it as a spacer, you can add another text box here and then just delete anything and leave it blank and it adds a little space. Now I still would like to see a little bit more style on this page. So what I'm going to do is drop a little bit of shadow on our headline. So I would go down to shadow and this is the text shadow and see it adds just a subtle amount just like that. Now on mine I have the option to change it as much as I want. So that's entirely up to you and it depends on what your tool does. Okay. But if we add just a little bit of drop shadow, it just adds to the style a little bit without detracting from the entire message. Another thing I'd like to do is maybe to put this in um, a separate box by itself and just lift it off the page a little bit. So I would pick a content box. Okay, I'll put it below here. And then what I want to do is drag my opt-in form into the content box. And also the little bit of text. So now this is our content box. And what we can do is actually drop a little bit of shadow on the box. And personally, I find this a little bit wide. So I'm going to go to layout and position. And I can bring that in as much as you want. Let's do this side to match. And I think that looks pretty good. And it's got a little bit of shadow. So it helps again to give us a little bit of style. Now, one thing we have to remember is that most of our online businesses are global. And so we now need to be compliant with Europe's new GDPR or the General Data Protection Regulation. Okay, this is a website here that I found for you. And this talks about the GDPR 
and it gives you an overview and how to be compliant. Okay, it's a lot, I know it's a lot of legal mumble jumbo, but it is important for an online business if part of your audience is in Europe. So what we need to do, and I would assume that most reputable page builders will have this option in them, okay? So for my purposes, I click on the lead generation box and down here it shows you the different fields that are in the box. You have the name and the email. Now you want to add a new one. So if I scroll down here, you see they have the GDPR checkbox. So there you go, it's added this checkbox that your visitors have to check so that they agree with your privacy policy and agree to receive your emails. So now let's go in here and change this a little bit. This is not so user friendly the way they've written it. So I'm going to go in and edit the form elements. I'm going to delete what's there. And then I'll type out what I'd rather have instead. It should still concern your privacy policy and emails though, okay? So there you go. That's what I like to write in mine. And if you're happy with that, press done. Oh, and I should have stayed in there to change the print on this button. You don't want something quite as boring as just sign up, okay? So let's change this to something a little bit more exciting, like send me my guide now. Well, you know, or you can choose anything you like as long as it's something that stands out a little bit other than click here or buy now or anything like that, okay? And for myself, I really want to increase that font. Again, it helps it to stand out. Click done. So, so far it's looking pretty good. It's simple but it has a design of its own. It's got some drop shadow. There's some shadow around this content box. Okay, the last thing that we need to ensure we have is our links to our legal pages. Now, I know I said you shouldn't have any more links on your page other than this one, but these are your legal pages and this is required if you do any kind of paid advertising. And believe me, most people aren't going to click on them anyway, so it's not gonna distract really. So I'm going to click in here and the first line I want to add are your links to a, your affiliate disclosure, your terms and conditions, and your privacy policy. And then I add one more text box just below that to put in your copyright. Okay, let's center that. And I like to keep this in a lighter gray. I do believe I have it saved here. Yep. Okay, let's do this one. All right, and there's our page. So let's take another look at it. Make sure it's everything that you like. Okay, you got your two main elements, your promise, which is your headline, your lead generation box, which collects the email addresses to your autoresponder, and we'll save. Now, I highly recommend that you always, always, always check the mobile view. Your page builder should have this option because right now we're seeing how it would look on a desktop. It also has a tablet view. So you can see what it looks like on a tablet. Okay. And the most important is the mobile view. So take a look at it and see if you like how it shows up. Now, personally, I find this box a little too narrow and I find this wording a little bit big. It takes up so much space on the page. So let's decrease that font a little bit. There you go. Same with this one. Then we'll tighten that up a little bit. There we go. And then for this box, Let's make that a little bit wider so it's not so tall and skinny. So if I go to the layout position, I'm gonna bring this all the way over and the other side. There we go. So see how it fits so much nicer on a mobile phone? And for this plugin, if I save this 
for the mobile view. This is how it'll show up on mobile, whereas if I go back to desktop, see it didn't change any of that in my desktop view. So this is a really nice feature with Thrive Architect. All right, so now we've saved this. We'll save it again just to make sure. And let's go back and let me show you what it looks like on your desktop. We're gonna go back to our dashboard. We're gonna publish what we just created. And here's our permalink, so if we click on that, there you go. This is what your visitor will see when they land on your opt-in form. So there you have it. It's simple, yet it has enough style to look professional and pleasing to the eye. There's nothing to distract your visitor from filling out the form. And please don't forget to check out my previous video about how we put together that promise for your lead magnet, okay? I will leave that link below. And I've also created another video about creating your own guide or PDF or ebook and how to do it for free. I'll leave that link below for you too. Now, if you check out my website, this is my landing page. Okay, now notice I called it a landing page. This is actually my opt in form or my squeeze page. And again, I have a little bit of text up here. I have the promise in two different boxes here, another little bit of text here, and my lead generation box. And I should let you know that Thrive Themes also has another plugin that you can do split testing. And this is highly recommended whenever you do any kind of lead generation page. If I go back into my back office here, you can see that I did a split test between this particular form and then I made another one that looked slightly different. It looked like this. Okay, so all the same elements, but just done up a little bit different. And then I put the two and did a split test and the plugin does all the work for you. And it showed how one of those pages did so much better than the other one. And then what you can do is you can preset and allow the plugin to choose the winning page or you can choose it yourself. So thanks so much for watching my video. If you learned something new today, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. I upload new videos each week to help you with your online journey. So until next time, cheers!